When we first started talking about what we really wanted to achieve in this kitchen, we had Parisian farmhouse on our list, and we also had a farmhouse feel. As the kitchen started to take shape, we actually lost the farmhouse feel. I would describe this kitchen now as a little jewel box, which I love. It's sweet, it's cozy, it's super functional, and it's just really, really pretty. Maybe one of the prettiest kitchens I've ever done. They really wanted the kitchen to feel way lighter. We wanted it to be bright and cheerful, and we wanted to add a little bit of glam. We kept the cabinets. These are the original ones, but we had them all sprayed out cloud white, which immediately gave it this beautiful lift. And then for the glam, we added this gorgeous brass and crystal hardware all over the kitchen, and it's really like jewelry in the room. This kitchen is tiny, but you can still create zones in tiny spaces. We have on this side of the room what I like to call the servery and the eat-in area. That we painted out blue, so it's different than the rest of the kitchen cabinetry. It really makes it feel like it is another part of the space and creates a great eating zone for this family. I love working with my clients, but a lot of the time when we get into a design, there are some things that I need to convince them of. In this kitchen, it was actually the peninsula. Before it was here, they just couldn't imagine what it would look like. They thought it was gonna feel like it was too impeding in the space. They wouldn't have enough work surface, but as you can see, it's perfect and it is so useful and they just adore it, and so do I. We really had a tight budget that we wanted to keep in this kitchen. So we did do a lot of saving by keeping the appliances and the original cabinetry, but we also got to splurge. Our biggest splurge by far was the countertop. It is a 3CM Calicutta from Olympia and it is stunning. We had a great fabricator which was artistic stone design and they came through with flying colors and in the end, it's actually a masterpiece and art in the room. We had a ton of fun when it came to accessorizing the kitchen with the fabrics that we chose for the blinds. One of my favorite moments in this kitchen is actually the stools. They were my client's original stools. What we did is had them painted out the same as the cabinet, so they're cloud white. And then we had some fun with the upholstery. So the front of the chair is upholstered in a cute little print, and then the back of the chair is different, and it matches the blind. I love the way they came out. I love working on a space that completely comes together at the end and gives the family everything that they need and that they want. This one is no exception and I have to say, the two little girls that live here and their cute little faces loving this space makes me a very happy designer.